That's funny as hell. So that's what you chose to do today? No, it's not what you chose to do today. Two customers are arguing about who got to the pump first at a gas station in West Palm Beach, Florida. That is crazy, y'all. Look at this. She's stopping the whole pump because she want to pump gas. The man filming believes the woman at the pump cut him in line. She just swooped in on you? Yeah, she put her oh car in there. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Bro, no. no. I scooped up on you? Are you kidding me? Where is my car right there? Whatever. Wow. Hey, brother. Man. You're kidding me, right? That's no, crazy. He's not. <laughs> he's not kidding you at all. OK. Ah. That's crazy. Like, you see this whole thing right here, bro? <laughs> you know what? You're a better person. I'm just looking at this guy. It's funny, bro. Like, I'm the man does a good job of laughing off the seemingly rude behavior. Oh, man, yo. But he's in for a big surprise. Keep that rolling, dude. Keep that rolling. This dude's crazy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> when the woman finishes fueling up, she does something that leaves the man speechless. <laughs> yes, it's on this side. I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? She buys him nearly $60 worth of gas. Yes, it's on this side. I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? Which goes to show, customers may not always see eye to eye. Oh. I scooped up on you. Are you kidding me? Where is my car right here? Wow. But that's not a reason to add fuel to the fire. Yeah, I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? Hey, hey, you snatched the whole hose out. A gas station employee has just stopped a customer <sighs> who pulled away from the pump. Oh, that's what was dragging. Yes, ma'am. Prematurely. Yeah, it wouldn't work, so I was going for another one. Well, I mean, you have to take the pump hose out to leave. I know. I know. Yes, ma'am, I need your insurance information. Huh? Your insurance information. Come on. Really? Do you know how much this, this costs to replace? The thing is broken. It was not broken, ma'am. It's not broken. It's not broken. It's broken now, but it's not broken. And what that cost to fix? Like two grand to have the people come out and fix it. The woman doesn't pull over. She takes off, but there's just one problem. I got your tag, dumbass! Police track the woman down, but to date, she has yet to pay for the damage to the pump. So let this be a lesson. Always make sure to put the hose back after pumping gas. Or risk ridicule from nearly everyone else. Who does that? Oh, my God. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just asking you for $2 in coins. Yes. Because my I had a flat tire. You have enough. If you want to buy something for 50 cents, I can give you $1.50. If not, you can go next exit. Oh, really? Yes. Why are you being like that? Because I don't have quarters. And so you're going to charge me 50 cents to give? No, I'm saying you can get a sucker for 50 cents. I don't want cents. a sucker. I just need air. OK, sir, go to next exit, please. <laughs> I don't have 50 I got cents. you. And put this all over Facebook. One, two. But his threat to put the exchange on social media backfires. Look at that customer service. Whoa, 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 look at that. Get us, the whore, get us, put up the whore. Look at this, look at this. Yes. <laughs> Flat tire be damned. The customer gets in his ride and takes off, leaving the furious clerk to stew at the station. Here's hoping both parties can make a change. Wow. To how they deal with confrontation. Oh my gosh. Get up. Get up. The customer recording has come in to pay for his gas and buy some candy. But the rude way he woke up the napping employee 
is not appreciated. How much? Why you get like this? Because you sleep, man. Get the up. Why you here? Why the sleep on the job? Get up. Here, how much? How much? Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. And despite having knocked some items off the shelf when he first banged on the partition, get up. The customer is unremorseful. Oh, you got the oh, all that stuff. All right. All right. Stop sleeping. How much, man? And how much? Unrelenting. How much? I didn't just get bro. Now I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'll let you cuss. I'm out. <laughs> he got <him. laughs> As the customer heads for the door with the unpaid for candy. The cashier locks it. <laughs> he got locked it. <laughs> Yo, he locked it. chill, come on, yo. You playing around, dog. Come on. The cashier now appears to be calling someone. You want to call a cop for what? You want some nut? <laughs> Man, where? Come on, dog. <laughs> yo, you about to. <laughs> He wants some nut According to the customer, the clerk eventually unlocks the doors and lets him go without involving authorities. Come on, yo. You playing around, dog. Come on. Let's hope he learned his lesson. You about to call a cop for what? Be respectful of employees. Get up. Who might be struggling to keep it together. Get up. Especially when the reason they're struggling could be from dealing with interactions like this. Stop sleeping. How much, man? How much? Wildly. <laughs> Your buddy in the Honda tried to cut. Like, what you doing, bro? Moments later, the driver of the white car gets into it with the driver who blocked her from cutting in. Wow. Yo, she spit on his. The woman spits on the driver in the silver SUV. So he hops out to settle the score. When police arrive, they charge both drivers with assault. Yeah. The male driver is hit with an additional charge of damage to personal property for the cell phone. Working as a cashier at a gas station can be a trying job, especially if confronted with irate customers who are intent on voicing their complaints. How you doing? I called you on the phone about hot dogs. Yeah. And you're a dirty, rotten mouth pig. This would-be customer is angry because he claims when he called to ask about hot dogs. What you gonna do? The clerk was rude. Pump, come and do it. Yeah, come and do it. This altercation ends with the clerk simply responding to the man's juvenile taunts with some of his own. You're a rotten jerk face. You know what? Just wait a second. You can my goat, punk. Bye bye, buddy. Yeah. Paul High is working the graveyard shift when he comes face to face with a 500 pound black bear. I was on my way to go change the outside trash, and I was walking towards the our automatic door, and it opened. And then I seen him try to come in, so I stepped towards him. And then he comes into the store, kind of lunges at me. And though working in this area has given Paul plenty of bear handling experience, this time is different. I usually have to run him off at least once or twice a night out of the parking lot, never out of the store, though. I was just trying to get him out. That way he didn't, you know, trash the whole place. And this bear's behavior is making that much easier said than done. As soon as the bear lunged at me, my whole train of thought changed, and I was just like, yeah, you can have whatever you want, man. Just, just take it and go. Fortunately, there's one item in particular that looks a little tastier than Paul. He actually grabs a bag of Snickers and leaves. With a bag of candy bars, isn't the bear's only score. On another night. That 
was the other graveyard guy. His name is Dave. Apparently that night, the bear laid down on the floor and ate a whole box of Three Musketeers. But even after the sweet feast, Paul's co-worker has a much more difficult time getting the bear out of the store and calls for help. When authorities arrive, the bear finally acquiesces. But not before grabbing one more snack for the road. The spontaneous visit stopped after the California Department of Fish and Wildlife capture the bear and release him somewhere far away, making it one less troublesome, cranky customer for Paul and his co-workers to bear with. It was not in the job description to get bears out of the store when I was hired. 